and he will win the race off pit road. And again, there were only 15 cars on the lead lap when the caution came out. A sprint to the finish. Can they finish out what has been a great weekend for RCR and this three team? Well, he's got a lot of work ahead of him. That is for sure. This guy right here, he's seen it over and over and over. He knew not to celebrate until the checkered flag fell. Yeah. He's been part of it. And look at the celebration here, right? I mean, there, there's still racing to happen, but if you're the pit crew, you've done what you can do. You, you retain the lead. Okay, you start on the inside. That, that you chose. Pass came on pit road right here, the 11th team. A great pit stop. They're going over there on pit lane. They get by the 19. And the whole controversy in the restart. I mean, he went as soon as he thought he could, and it worked for the 11th. Oh, this has been one of those tracks where the restart zone seems to come in question a lot. I don't know why. It's kind of in the same position in every other track. Jeff, you and I had that conversation yesterday. We were out there in the pace car. And we couldn't quite figure out what was special about this place. We're going to take the front row, we'll take the bottom, they're all going to wash up, we're going to drive under, but we're just like we did in the spring. All right, there you have it. That's a plan. Chris Gabbard. Can't say he didn't have a plan. All right, so Jeff, where do you, if I'm the three, I think I have to take the top. <laughs> you know, if you get wrecked Look. getting into one, then you get wrecked. But I think to win the race, you have to hold the 22 down, clear him off turn two. I agree. I agree with that, but it is risky. It really is risky because you. I mean, you would never consider giving someone the, to the bottom 20 years ago on a short right. track. But it's different now. We've seen this second groove work. You ha you kind of have to trust the guy, but you gonna trust Joey Logano? Well, so now. I mean, uh, so let me flip it. If I take. Uh, so what he's got to do now, Steve, oh is he knows that Denny Hamlin's going to try to make it three wide on him, getting into turn one. The key is leaving the restart zone with forward momentum. At first line. You can do it anywhere in that Here we go, guys. Zone. This is what we're going to find out. Come to the green flag. Possibly a final restart. Green light checkered. Oh, boy. Here we go. They're already running. Buck Wallace is right there with Denny Hamlin. It's going to be with. It's going to be Logano out front. What's going to happen now? Logano clears him down the back stretch. Did Dylan fight back? I don't know. He's had a great car all weekend long. One more time around for Logano. The white flag is We didn't see Logano uh, race earlier with those red tires and how good he ran. He's going to have to really just dive on him if he can. He got a good back right there. Now. Joey Logano, the green four for the final time. There's the contact. Stay together. No. No. Oh. 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 Is that a yellow tire on the front, though? But it just rubbed off. I think it just rubbed off when he hit Hamlin. I think it just rubbed off when he hit Hamlin. I hope that ain't just a yellow tire. That'd be illegal. Wow! Still trying to roll on 
pit road as this celebration starts on the front stretch. With a season-saving move. Austin Dillon, with a playoff spot on the line, with your season on the line, was that a fair move? 